So right now we're coasting down the old Klein Valley track. It must have been a railway track at some point. These sorts of things are always railway tracks. And there's a pub back there called the railway. So basically you put the clues together and you've got an old disused railway line. But they didn't stand a damn chance. As terrace houses go on a hill, this isn't bad. Could go down there, could go down here, down there. And it's nice as possible to, you know. Probably one of the country's best Victorian attractions. Oh yeah, doesn't look as bad as it did when I was a kid. And that was the scene of the famous smash your car up incident. Please don't let that happen to me right now. Yes sir, riding a bike is generally the answer to your worries. Oops, didn't expect that. Riding on the edge, just for you. Take your dog for a walk on that. Ambition is critical. Mountain biking was my thing back in the day, in the beginning. Off into these trails up there, steep paths like that. Mountain biking was where I cut my cloth on the whole cycling world, really. <laughs> I started getting adventurous. I think this must be about two or three miles long, I guess. It's quite a long old trail. And definitely worth a visit if you've got time for a nice long walk or if you've got time for a bike ride. Some fellow cyclists there. Well, look at this. This is what you could have won. So this is the seafront in Mumbles, the promenade, I suppose. From the city, round to where we're headed in Mumbles, it's about, they estimate about five miles, I think. And there's a the new skate ramp they've built. You know me and skate ramps, but it's kind of occupied. <laughs> I'm a bit pushed for time, so I'm gonna skip it this time. It's obviously tremendously popular around here when the, when the sun comes out like this. Everybody's out enjoying the seafront. Not that it's that busy today, it'll be really busy on the weekend, but we're not there yet. It's funny to think I had this on my doorstep at one time, and when you have that sort of thing right there all the time, you always say, well, I should have taken more advantage of it. But actually, I didn't do bad. I did take advantage of it quite well. And it was just time for a change. Now, let's get down the mumbles. When we were foolish teenagers, we would come out drinking on the weekend and doing sort of things you're not supposed to do. And after a, a bit too much, we thought it'd be a good idea, instead of taking the bus, to walk across there to Mumbles. So we headed out that direction when the tide was out. Big mistake. Real big mistake. <laughs> we had, of course, our jeans and normal trainers on. And before you know it, we are up over our ankles in mud, sinking deep into the stuff. <laughs> we learned the lesson the hard way. So Mumbles and the surrounding areas are without doubt some of the nicest places to live in Swansea. And I know a lot of people and families who live elsewhere, you know, have a little secret dream of maybe living down here one day, with views like these houses might have out to sea. But of course, it's only a dream for a lot of people. As well, although it's not huge money by some standards, it's too much for a lot of people, and they can't quite afford it. And of course, there's limited choice, you know. It's not, it's not an endless supply of houses and flats to choose from. It's limited. So I guess that keeps the prices up. We're just coming into the village of Mumbles itself now, really. Got a few terraced houses here on the right. We're doing some work here, obviously, changing what was once the old tram and bus station here. That's getting a few mods by the looks of it, a few changes. So we'll just go through the sort of high street part get back out onto the seafront, give you a little look around. In fact, I'll go up into the village first, turn right to this roundabout, we'll go up to the village, have a quick look up there, and then we'll come back down. Just up here, another very famous site in the area. But this is famously Oystermouth Castle. We're not gonna to get to see much of it. I think you just saw it from a distance. We can have a quick look here. Found something, you see? Keep searching. Now you can see it. 
Jesus. Oh, these hills. I'm gonna go on the inside of here if I can make it. Oh. Of course I can make it. Well, there we have it. The entrance to the beautifully preserved Oystermouth Castle, of which I know very little about, but it's sure is a castle. Let's take a look at it from a different viewpoint. Let's choose a hill where we can see it properly. What a spectacular sight. This area needs more exploring. You kind of get used to this after a while. Come on, you never get used to this. This is bloody perfect. Does it get any better than this? All right, let's move on. Let's take the path less traveled. Back into the village of Mumbles. Very quick right turn up this high street. Not really a high street, it's just a little shop street. Little cafes, surf shops, restaurants, that sort of thing. Must be the odd pub here somewhere, I would think. No, even though we know they're thin on the ground. So we're heading inland now, away from the coast, just a little bit. Just to get a flavor of the area. What's going on there? If I carried on around here to my left, I'd be going to some of the local beaches like Caswell and Langland. Lovely places like that. <coughs> well, we push for time today, so we can't get all that in. <coughs> There's the castle in the distance. You might just see it there. Let's have a little look through the side streets of the village. Check out the side streets. I can see a whopping great hill in front of me. Not entirely sure I'm going to take that one. It's very tempting, though. Let's take this one, because this looks like it might give us something nice. There's the sea. There's your sea view. No wonder people want to live here when the weather's like this, especially. Let's try a right. I am a bit lost, you know, but it's, it's not, we can't go wrong here because the sea's just down there. It's not too far to go. It's up a hill, but you know, I seem to like a hill these days. As terrace houses go on a hill, this isn't bad. You can see people take a lot of pride in their houses here. Oof, getting steep now. And I'm carrying extra weight down the box. Yes. What's down here? Follow your nose, that's what I do. Ooh, another option. Could go down there, could go down here, down there. It's endless. Here we are, Swansea dead ahead, and the coast. Back out on the Mumbles Road. That's where all the pubs and stuff are, Waterloo stores, I don't know if that's a pub. Crazy golf course. Sort of like an old Victorian seaside town, you know, where they'd come on holiday. Enjoy fun on the prom. Ah, a little bit of a shame to see it like this under work, but I guess it's all for the good. Next time I come down, it'll be very different, no doubt. Ah, oh, already I see a difference. All of this area along here is normally rammed full of little sailboats. That's what's different. And just up ahead here, we've got I'll call it a fairly recent addition, but it's probably 20-something years old again. It's called Verdi's Ice Cream Parlor and Coffee Shop, and uh, it's a very, very popular spot. And you'll see why when we get there. Yep, this is Verdi's. As you can see, super popular spot down here. And there's Annabouts for the Mumbles Triathlon. I won't be entering that this year, or probably any other year, but never mind. Hmm, here's all the boats, at least some of them. This is such a classic scene. Come on, let's have a look at this quickly. So here we have the old Mumbles Pier and behind it, we have the new lifeboat station. And there's the lifeboat itself. I guess they're not anticipating having to launch it quickly at the moment. <laughs> and down to Mumbles Pier. Oh, there's a challenge down here that I'm trying to work out if I'm going to do or not. Which I haven't done since I was a kid. And my dad teased me with doing it because he reckons he did it and broke his bike doing it. That is not something I can risk today. Because <laughs> one thing I can do, that is make rash decisions. I'm good at them. Think about raising money for the lifeboat, RNLI. So on my left here we've got the amusement arcade, which I shoved many a penny in when I was a kid. 
And this used to be a building. It used to be a nightclub once. And guess what? I played a gig in it. Yeah, here it used to be a nightclub. What was it called? Cinderella's maybe? That I gigged in with some band. I'm sure Glenn was there. Were you there, Glenn? Probably one of the most famous views in the area right here. Yeah, everybody knows Bumble's Pier. That's the new building. Nab Rock Lighthouse. And when we were young, maybe like this lot were, we would climb up and over that. Over to Limeslade or Rotherslade on the other side, whichever one it is. And as I said, this thing, brand new. But that's a lot of fun when the wind's up. Ooh, it's open. There used to be a, an entrance here. I say it's open to a point. You can have a bit of a cruise. Probably one of the country's best Victorian attractions. Mumbles Pier. It's actually really nice with the tide out. Thing is, of course, a lot of people can and probably do cross to these two islands, which you can do, as long as you know what the tides are doing. Because if you get the tide wrong, it's very easy to get trapped on that one or trapped on that one. And there's been a number of times we found ourselves walking back up to your shins in seawater, picking your way through the rocks. It happens. Let's make a decision on this challenge. Oh, the wheel's going round. Right, follow that car, that's the decision to make. Oh yeah, it doesn't look as bad as it did when I was a kid. Could be though, let's see. When I'm fully loaded. Ooh, keeps going a bit. So the story my dad told me is, he was halfway up and broke his chain. So please, don't let that happen to me right now. Please, no, no, no. I'm good, I've done it. And right here, an equally famous scene. A Swansea staple. Everybody knows the big apple. This thing, this big tin apple, has been here just about forever. How are we doing for time? Cracker of a little beach. It's the sort of place I'd come if I want to clear my head, this. And I have done many a time because it's got a massive great car park. You can just come down here, hang out, look at this scenery, and blow all your troubles away. <laughs> Bracelet Bay, there we go. Not Rotherslade, not Limeslade, this is Bracelet Bay. Just come back to me. Just on the other side here, we've got another little bay. No, this one could be Limeslade or Rotherslade. One of the two. Maybe I'll find out. Be good to know, wouldn't it? Take a look at this. Beautiful. If you were a young teenager from Wales, you'd say, oh, it's Cowan Lush, man. Cowan Lush it is. Cut. Today I was out riding with my mate Hugh, and we stopped for a chat and we told some stories. And he told me about a story where I hid my car somewhere, arriving from the police. I don't remember that one. Probably never happened. I told him a couple of others. And I told him a story about me foolishly driving into a tree with all the boys in the back, you know? I was, I was uh, probably Nigel Mansell in that day, I suppose. <laughs> or Stig Blomfist or someone, I don't know, some rally driver. And that happened up around there, up that hill. And there's a tight bend somewhere with a tree right on the bend. And that was the scene of the famous smash your car up incident. All right, that's it, flying visit. We gotta get out of here. Let's go past these rocks. On the way down into Mumbles again. Gonna do it in reverse now, go back the other way. We'll have a good look at the village on the way. Riding a bike is generally the answer to all any of your problems. Especially on a day like this. Some lucky people who've maybe lived here for years probably have to repaint their windows a lot because of all that salty sea air. We're staying out here on the road for a minute just so we can see a bit of the village on the way. Once we pass the village, we'll get back onto the promenade and the seafront and have some of those spectacular views 
on our way back into Swansea. Right here on the left is another Swansea institution. This there, as you can see the blue thing, that is Joe's ice cream. Once again, like the Big Apple and the Pier and all these other places, everybody in Swansea knows Joe's ice cream. This is what you can find around here. Bugs. Bloody big green bugs. <laughs> Two wheels. That's what I'm talking about. Why is he queuing? When I was on a motorbike, I never queued at places like this. But, you know, you may have gathered. Yeah, I'm a bit like that. So as we leave Mumbles behind us now, and we head on the four or five miles around the bay to Swansea. I got a train to catch, so I got to make sure I get there. It's a shame though, I could stay for another day now, if I'd have known it was going to be this good a weather. Never mind. Next time, that's where we're headed. In an earlier episode, I mentioned Kilvey Hill. A big point, one of those points that everybody in Swansea knows. <coughs> Just over in the distance there, I can't point to it. You can see maybe a mast up on top of that mound. And in the last episode, we were just at the base of it. This here, oh, we can go down here, look. This wasn't here, but all this on my left here oops, used to be a, what is this? <laughs> all this on my left here used to be a pitch and putt golf course, a nine hole golf course, you know, a little one, a fun one. Oh God, it's a BMX ramp, oh shit. Didn't expect that. I'm gonna keep my eyes open. <laughs> I'll try it again, shall I? So all this on my left here used to be a pitch and putt course, a nine hole, like mini golf course. And we would use it every now and again, it was great fun. But for some reason, they just thought it was a good idea to have a little golf course right next to a busy main road down there, Mumbles Road. And about this hole here, once, my dad <laughs> took the biggest God Almighty swing Hit the ball, sliced it beautifully, if, you, if that's a possible thing to do. Hit the ball over the golf course, straight onto the road, across the road, and there used to be a car garage there. And we watched this ball go, both with our mouths open, and the ball landed, bounced underneath the car, and rattled itself underneath this car, missing the windscreen and all the other important bits by inches. We promptly turned around, and walked in the other direction, <laughs> as you can imagine. I will never forget that. Good days, good days. People come out here riding bikes, walking, walking dogs, scooting, skating, everything. This will clear your head. It's so nice. Look at this, bit of good weather. Everybody's out, having a whale of a time. Fantastic. Beach is full. Oh my God. Well, actually, this beach will never be full. I mean, look at it, it's huge. Monsters are out. Showing off their six packs. <laughs> Through the chicane. Look at me like Rossi. Oh. Except he didn't have sand on the track. Riding on the edge, just for you. I love this. Why do I feel like everybody's looking at me like either I'm a weirdo or they recognize me or they, they think I'm up to no good? Things that go on in your head sometimes. How are we doing for time? Stacks of time, let's have a look at the marina again. Down there I should be, boys, down there. Should we take a moment to enjoy the view? I think it's not a bad idea. I feel like I should be working for Swansea Council here. Look at this, talk about promotion. Look at this beach. Take your dog for a walk on that. If you want to tire him out. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not just saying this today, I'm really not, but this is genuinely one of the best and most spectacular views I have seen here in a long time. The weather is perfect. It's not very often, now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it's not that often you can see North Devon right across there like that, because that's what that is. Ilfracombe, um, Braunton maybe, places like that in North Devon. 
And it's really, really clear today. There'll be people down there in houses and things with telescopes and binoculars looking at fields over there. So up there is the River Towie, and the River Towie is where all the copper works were. And the copper works had little boats that could bring the copper ore from that side and bring it across the water so they could bring one tonne of ore across, bring three or four tonnes of coal down and smelt it down into the pure copper that they needed. Obviously, I doubt they did it one tonne at a time. That would be pretty inefficient, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. Little diversion there, but yeah, this is a spectacular, spectacular day for this. It really is. You rarely see it this good. Kilvey Hill I was pointing out earlier on, just behind that big yellow building there. Challenge. Probably shouldn't be riding on this, I might get told off now. This is a nice little old street. Very Victorian looking, I like this. It's a lovely part of town. Well that just about brings our tour of Mumbles and Swansea to a close. All that's left to do now is wind our way up through Wine Street. As it happens, go way up to the station and High Street, back through the scuzziness, to say goodbye to Swansea and South Wales for this trip. Maybe we'll be back another time to do somewhere else, who knows. Until next time, I'll see you somewhere. I'll see you London. Remember those words, guys. Ambition is critical. See you on the next one.